So the purpose of this video is to show you how to record your band in Reaper. And it's not going to require that you know how to use Reaper at all. I'm going to assume that you just downloaded it and all you want to do is record your band or your song using Reaper. We're also going to just focus on recording audio, not MIDI. Although we might just add some MIDI strings at the end. So when we first open Reaper, it should look like this. With our tracks going over here, our arrangement window going over here for our MIDI and audio items, and down over here is our mixer. Right above it is the transport, letting us know which bar, and the transport buttons over here. Now the first thing I want to do is set up our song tempo, which you could do right over here. Now if we don't know the tempo we want to use, we could tap it by clicking over here. Just tap to the beat and any tempo we want to use. But I happen to know the song we're going to record is 68 beats per minute. So I'm just going to type it in right here. And to make some room in our project, let's hide our mixer. We'll go up here to the view menu and deselect our mixer, giving us more room for our tracks and our arrangement window. And next, we want to make sure our computer audio interface is being seen by Reaper. So we'll go up here and choose audio device settings, which show up over here. And make sure the computer audio interface you're using shows up over here. And I've also set up my sample rate at 48 kilohertz and the buffer size at 128, which will keep the latency a bit lower, making it easier for our band to perform. Then I want to go to the audio panel where we can name our inputs on our audio interface. This step can be skipped, but it's easier to remember which mics are plugged into which inputs if we give them names in here. I'm going to click this checkbox and go into here. And here we could see all our inputs on our audio interface. But I'm going to start over. So we'll select all and remove them. Then we're going to add just the ones we need. Now I want to use all my inputs for the drum tracks. So we're going to record some scratch tracks for the drummer to play along with as our first pass. If you want to record your band completely live, you're going to need enough inputs on your interface to do that. So I'm going to add an input over here, double click it. I have a guitar mic plugged in over here to input one. So I'll name it, make a new one. My vocal is plugged in over here. We'll name it vocal. And now we have two inputs labeled that we could use to record our scratch tracks. Now later, we're going to rename these when we record our drums. We just need these two for now to put down a scratch guitar and a vocal. So now let's create two tracks to record those scratch parts. We'll double click over here to create a new track, which we could use for the guitar. Let's name it. And double click again to create another track for the scratch vocal. And we'll name this one as well. So now we'll put this track into record, set our input over here. Notice it's already set to the guitar, but we could also choose vocal. But we'll choose guitar for this one and vocal for this one right here. Both recorded mono. Let's go back to the guitar and set the record level for the guitar. Now, mic and the acoustic guitar pretty similar to this with a condenser mic about 6 to 12 inches away from the sound hole and pointed at a bit of an angle. And I'll have the guitar player play, and we'll see the level over here on our meter. Now we can see it's recorded a bit too loud. I want the peaks to be somewhere in between minus 18 and minus 12. So on the preamp, where the microphone is plugged in, I'm going to bring it down a bit. Right about there looks perfect. Somewhere in between minus 18 and minus 12, at least for the peaks. So 
So that looks pretty good. Let's do the same thing for the vocal. Put it into record. Again, it's set up with our input where the vocal mic is plugged into, and we'll have our singer sing with the guitar. And we'll check the level over here. So the peaks are somewhere between minus 18 and minus 12. Easy rider on the highway Station wagon go Again, it's a bit too loud. So again, I'll bring down the preamp where the vocal mic is plugged into to keep the level between minus 18 and minus 12 for peak. Easy rider on the highway Station wagon going slow Windows open, you are basking With your hand out on the wind Right about there looks perfect. So now we'll set up our click track so they can perform the scratch tracks on tempo. So the drummer can play to them later. We'll go up here and turn this on. We can right click it to adjust the volume in here, right over here. Easy rider on the highway. I think that volume works. It's now ready to record our scratch parts right in here. We can hit the record button over here, or use the keyboard shortcut, Control R on the PC, or Command R on the Mac. Let's give it a shot. And notice right at the end, I'm gonna turn off the click track as they wanna slow down the ending of the song, not have it locked to the click. So right at the end, I'm gonna turn off the metronome right from here. Let's go into record and record this part. Easy rider on the highway Station wagon going slow Windows open, you are basking With your hand out on the wind I keep this folded at the corner so that I could not forget Fold it at the corner So that I could not forget mm. Pink azaleas by your driveway Shade a leisurely goodbye In your terry cotton sweater On this moment I depend I keep this folded at the corner So that I could not forget Folded at the corner So that I could not forget Folded at the corner so that I could not forget. And again, I turned off the metronome at the end so I didn't have to lock to a click, and they slowed it down naturally, which the drummer can follow along, as we could turn off the click track for the drummer as well. So now we have our scratch guitar and a vocal for our drummer to play along with. Let's take our tracks out of record and get ready to record our drums. Now, because of the length of this video, I've recorded it in six parts. Check out part two next. So that's pretty much it. That's how to record your band in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.